Okay, so now that we have uh, the organization uh, on the inside of our script, we need to be able to unpack uh, the outside of our script. And so, like I said before, um, we're passing out our time list. So for each, each of these lists represent one moment in time. And so we unpack, unpack all of them. And so for each moment in time, we have two lists. We have our mover list, and then we also have our uh, mass list. And so what happens, what we want to do is we want to split these up. We want to get access to just our mover list and then also just our mass list. So let's, uh, let's slide this over here and move this down. Let's move this clear out of the way. Okay, so to get access to our uh, mover list, we notice that they're all uh, uh, at item zero. So we can do uh, list item, and then if we pass out a list item, we're going to get a list. So now, if you want to look at this, uh, so up here we have, for each moment in time, we have two lists. Here we're just looking at the first list for each moment in time. So here's our time still, but now we're just looking at uh, one list. And so we need to unpack it. So we're going to use our pie list, throw it over here, and throw that in there. And let's uh, create another panel to look at it. Okay, so we have uh, positions. So that is our, uh, yeah, our position list. And that is at index zero. So now let's look at uh, getting our, or let's go ahead and delete that. Let's bring this over here. Okay, so now instead of using uh, this list uh, to look at the branches, we want this list right here. I think, anyway. Well, let's try it. Okay, so now let's put it in motion. And, uh, yeah, so it's bouncing and the wind is blowing. Okay, so that works. And so we're just going to uh, uh, copy and paste this whole thing down. And uh, wait, let's let's clean this up a little bit before we do that. Uh, we don't need to look at this anymore. And uh, so here we have our positions. Okay, so let's screw that and copy and paste this down. masses down here. And so let's see, look at our panel. And uh, the reason we're not getting our masses like we want is because we need to switch this list right here. So right now we're having uh, the indexes at zero. And so we're getting this list for every one. Uh, the zeroth list right here, right here, right here. So now we want to get our uh, uh, list with index 1. So let's throw a 1 in front of this, plug it in there, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put 0 in up here just so it's clear. So let's see if that, okay, so now we have mass 10. 
So now to represent our mass, let's just uh, throw that into the radius. And uh, I'm going to turn off that preview point. Okay, so let's ramp up the number of movers to see if it uh, works. It should be, all of our, our masses should be the same for this. Yeah, and uh, also uh, you'll notice that it's going, uh, our balls are bouncing through the bottom and that's because we're using our, our center point as our location. But, so that's kind of interesting. And then uh, in the next video, uh, I will uh, show you how to set up different masses for each one.